Hello, this is Jules from VR Tracker to present you our new Unity plugin. So let's just get started with Unity and run through importing the plugin and starting to use it. So I'll just create a new project in Unity. Let's call it plugin test. Okay, so Unity is finally on. So let's import the Unity package. So double click here, import. Okay, there we go. So first, let's have a bit of a run through the, the demo scenes. Sorry, you have the intro assignation scene. So basically what that scene does, it needs to be run first to assign the tag to the user's object. So the main thing in that scene is the VR tracker object. You can find it in a prefab, it's the VR tracker prefab. So what it contains, first what you have to do is to set the online scene. So let's just add them to the build settings. So I'm gonna add the intro to build settings and I'm going to open the thing that is going to be my, uh, my game actually. So let's say that this is my game scene. I'm going to add it to the build settings too. Oops, no. So I have the intro as scene 0 and the demo as scene 1 right there. So there we go. So I can go back to the intro assignation scene. So now you can check on VR Tracker. I have to set my online scene. This is for the network manager because all the plugin is network and it's, it's using a Unity networking system. So if you start the application on your smartphone or, or you know, on your PC, you're going to be able to assign your tags, and if somebody else does it on its PC or smartphone, is going to assign its tags, and is going to have you're going to have the multiplayer. You're gonna see him in your application, and he's gonna see you in its application. So it's all already made for multiplayer use. So let's on the online scene in the network manager, you wanna set it to the game scene where, where the game starts. So here in our case, it's the demo scene. Now you also want to configure the spawn info. Okay, so the spawn info is, uh, this is gonna be for, for the network, so you have to put the, the player uh, in there, the player uh, prefab. Uh, because what's going to happen once you have your application started, if somebody else starts uh, its application, the network will have to spawn another instance of its player. So here we put the prefab VR tracker player that you can find in the prefab folder. We will go through what's inside this prefab later. So, uh, player prefab. Here, this is the to register spawnable prefab. Is if you want to go uh, further in networking and add other uh, other object that you wanna uh, have as multiplayer object, you have to add them here. What else? Well, we're pretty, uh, we're pretty done with this. So let's just get started. So here you can see almost nothing in, this, in that scene. Welcome, reassign my tag. So that's the only thing you can do. Assign VR tracker headset. So here what you have to do is to press the red button on your headset tag. And here we're gonna have a one for each player. Yet again, press the red button on the tag, and there we go. So it's loading, and then we are in the game. So here it's a, it's a, it's a bad place for the demo because I have no tracking here. Almost none, but here you can see, basically, I'm just going to take the tag at a place where I have some tracking. So you can see the player, and you can see what we call the Wong. That's there, and we have the player. So they appear here as VR tracker player. And you can see this is all from the player prefab. So let's just go back and run it one more time. Here we go. Now we have welcome, we have start game and reassign my tag. What happened is that the application, the plugin, it saved the assignation between the tag and the game object. So for the user, there is a file that is being created in my PC and it saves uh, the assignation, the association between that tag and, for example, my player in my game. 
So now if you start the game again, and if the tags are still connected, well, you can directly go and start the game and it will use that previous assignation. If you want to change the tags, you can just go on reassign my tag. But here, let's go directly through start game. It's loading, and yet again, we have the same thing. Both players, they are both here, and uh, I have my player that's, that's right there. So that's pretty much what I want to do. So I have my player. I won't show you the multiplayer how it works. It is because it's really the same as that. Just you, you start it on another PC, another smartphone. So very easy to do multiplayer. What I want to go through is uh, sort of VR tracker package, the VR tracker prefab. Uh, that's what you what you configure in the intro assignation scene. This is really for the for the beginning, and that handles all the connections to the gateway. And now the VR tracker player. So how does that work? So as you can see, it is made of two other prefabs, the VR tracker one and the VR tracker headset. So let's just, for example, put them in a in the game. No, let's let's put all the the VR tracker player prefab here. So, here we have the headset and here we have, we have the wand. So let's just get there. So you can see the wand is like a wood wand and the headset is actually all the player uh, with its body and a camera inside and well the capsule is, is its body. So as you can see inside the player you have those first two objects and they both have a VR tracker tag script. So the wand has the orientation enabled turned on because you want to use the orientation on the one and the headset has the orientation off uh, because uh, you want to use the headset uh, orientation headset IMU directly and not the uh, tag orientation because you don't need to so the orientation is off and here the thing that uh, that we configured here it is by default it is what we call the I tag offset so let me show you how does that work. The problem is that we put the tag on the on the user head. Usually we put it like that. So here is my uh, here is my VR headset and I have my tag on the top of my head. The problem the problem with that is that if I uh, is that first the tag is higher and it's not at the same position as my eyes. So we want to correct this. So we correct it with, the, with this offset. So minus 18 centimeters is the height and the minus five centimeters is the distance there. So that's what, that's what we, uh, we correct. And also it corrects with the orientation because if you have your, the tag on the top of your head and for example, you tilt the head on the side, well, what's gonna happen is that the tag is gonna move, move much more than your eyes do because you see here, my eyes, they only move a few centimeters away, but the tag, the movement is amplified and you don't want that. So this offset, it will correct this movement. So that's what this is for. So the player headset, you can, what you could do is, for example, remove the wand. If you just want to use to try the headset, remove the wand, uh, recreate this uh, prefab, uh, drop it in prefabs. And then when you are in a VR tracker, here you change the player prefab for the one you've created. What's practical with that, you can see that the, at the top of the, the VR tracker player, you have the transforms, the network transform, the network identity. So this is for networking. This is so that you can create multiplayer games from scratch with this plugin. And here it's the network transform child. So everything that is tracked, the headset, the wand, you want to assign their position in the network transform child target here. So what we do is just, we select it, we drag it and drop it there, and there we go. And it's, it's already assigned and you can change the config of the transform. But this is for uh, the multiplayer and the networking in Unity. If you don't do networking, you don't need those scripts. Not the wand. So the wand is made of, yet again, the tag. We have the wand model. And we have the input. So the input is uh, is based on the. Uh, you can see that those most of those assets for the assignation they are based on the Unity uh, VR samples, and the input is for the VR input. 
So because what you can do with the one is to point at things and you can use all the VR impute system that was made for Unity uh, in, the, in the VR samples. So you can use that to point and select things, for example, the selectors and stuff like that. And there is a sphere collider too, if you want to, uh, to have collision with other objects to be able to select them. And we have the VR tracker pickup script. So the pickup script, what it does basically is that when there is a collision between your wand, between the sphere collider, the green sphere collider, and another object, by the way, let's just get started with the simple things. The wand is actually, well, this is the prototype of the wand. It is, a, it is one of the new tags that we're working on with, uh, with a, a push button that is connected to the GPIO port. We'll talk more about that in, an, uh, in another video. But basically what happens is that if I put my wand in an other VR object, I press the button, the VR tracker pickup script is going to assign my wand position to that object I picked. So this is really what it says, it picks up the object. So you press it, you can move it around, and you can release it somewhere else. So that's pretty much a run through the new plugin. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them uh, on YouTube or drop us an email or on the forum and uh, I'll answer them. If you want some improvements, if you want to bring some new features to this plugin, uh, let us know and uh, there will be more updates later because we have a few ideas that could be very cool to have, a, to have a, a game started quickly in Unity. So thank you for watching and have a great day. Cheers.